Hello and welcome to Civil Talks. Today we can study about the Sauce Tank. It seems that we are very much familiar with the term Sauce Tank. So let's get deep inside it. What does it really mean? First of all, what is Sauce Tank and where and where it is located? Sauce Tank is located between headrest, pressure conduit, and paint stock. First of all. What is source tank? A source tank is a hydropower structure which is basically constructed in order to maintain the pressure level in the penstock pipe. So where it is located? It is located between the headrest pressure conduit and penstock. If, if the hydropower project has the tunnel, that means the source tank will be located at the end of the tunnel and before the starting of the penstock pipe alignment. And the second point in the slide tells us that as one of the means of eliminating water hammer, provision is made to permit liquid to source into a tank which is called source tank. That means source tank is provided in order to eliminate the water hammer effect. Later on we will discuss about the effect water hammer. What is water hammer? So source means the level, pressure level in the tank. That means in order to take account the high pressure as well as the low pressure, the source tank is constructed in any hydropower project. So what are the purposes of the construction behind the source tank? The primary purposes are first of all to reduce the effect of water hammer. Water hammer is nothing but whenever the valve of the penstock is closed either gradually or rapidly the water flow get obstructed. That means the water will flow flow back which causes a sound in the penstock which is known as knocking and it causes the vibration and immediate increase in the pressure in the upstream which is which is known as water hammer so source tank the primary purpose of source tank is it reduces the effect of water hammer the second purpose of the source tank is to govern the stability of the system it largely improves the governing stability of the system the third purpose is it acts as a quick storage device when flow needs to be decreased in the turbine that means whenever the valve is closed source tank is the first major device or major structure where it store the water and the third purpose is it temporarily supplies the water when the flow to the turbine is suddenly increased these are the primary purposes of source tank so now the types of source tank we have basically five types of source tank in any hydropower projects the first one is simple cylindrical source tank. Second is restricted orifice source tank. Third is differential source tank. Fourth one is source tank with expansion chamber. And fifth one is source tank with spilling channel. That means we have all together five kinds of source tank that are used in hydropower projects. So, let, uh, so let's describe each one of them. So first of all, what is simple cylindrical source tank? It is very simple in construction, but it is seldom adopted in preference to other types of source tank. It is usually large in size, that's why which make it more costly. And another disadvantages of Simple cylindrical source tank is 
it is very sluggish in nature that means the water level rising or falling is very slow that's why it is seldom adopted in preferences to other types of source tank so here we can see the section of a simple cylindrical source tank i'll drag the cursor here this is the pressure flow conduit where the water flows pressure and this is the simple cylindrical source tank over here we can see it this is the cross section of the simple cylindrical source tank so now let's discuss about the restricted orifice source tank so first of all we have to be familiar with the word orifice the orifice is nothing but the opening below or into the water surface into the water so what is restricted orifice source tank it is just a simple modification of simple source tank which has the restricted opening between the pipeline and the tank that means it allows more rapid pressure change in pipelines since it is a simple modification but it has the design which is very complex and but its efficiency is very high one advantage is of one of the advantage of restricted orifice source tank is restricted entry creates the retardation and acceleration condition of flow in the tunnel of stream to it and thus minimizes the storage requirement as well as it minimizes the upsurges and downsurges we can see here the figure of restricted orifice source tank here we can see the orifice restricted orifice is the plan so this is the cross section now coming to the differential source tank the uh, we can be familiar with the word we are very much familiar with the word differential in fluid mechanics so what is differential source tank it is a combination of orifice and simple source tank of narrow cross section area it consists of internal narrow riser shaft with an orifice entry to a large outer shaft at the bottom we will be more clear after looking at the picture first of all we have to uh, look at the theory as the central riser is narrow it responds instantaneously during the upward phase and at the same time maximum amplitude is re restricted to its top level only it has complex design and its efficiency is very much high we can see the picture of differential source tank this is the narrow riser first of all the water level will rise in the narrow tube and after that there is a differential restricted orifice over here and which manages the pressure level into the source tank so coming to the source tank with expansion chamber in this type of source tank a vortex is formed due to its irregular shape so it somehow damps the surge level the narrow riser quickly reacts creating the acceleration and deceleration heats and at the same time the expansion chamber minimizes the maximum upsurge and downsurge level thus limiting the height of surge tank you can see here the upper gallery and the lower gallery are the expansion chamber which somehow manages to uh, to take into account the higher and lower surge level into the surge tank while there is the change in pressure level into the penstock pipe so now coming to the surge tank with spilling channel so uh, spilling channel means the excess water will get spilled away from the surge tank that means the source tank with spilling channel is the open surface source tank the source pressure is released with the overflowing water that means it will be spilled out and the choice depends on the economy topographic condition it is very merely adopted because the topographical condition and the spill water uh, should be provided with a 
very good way so that it will not harm the opportunity structures in Hyderabad projects. So what are the basic design criteria of source tank? So a source chamber must be so located that the pressure variations caused by the water hammer are kept within the acceptable limit. This is the first design criteria and the second design criteria is the chamber must be stable that is source resulting from small partial load changes must be naturally dampened. This is the second design criteria and the third design criteria is the chamber must be of such size and so proportioned that it will contain the maximum possible offices that means the structure should be large enough in order to take account the maximum possible offices as well as the lowest downsides having said that it will not allow the air to be drawn inside the tunnel the range of sources must not be greater enough to cause undesirably heavy governor moments or difficulty in picking of load so these things should be kept in mind while designing any kinds of source tank